road issue that needed immediate attention. When we here at KPRC2 say that we are here to solve your problems and offer solutions, well, we mean it. So when one woman contacted us about this giant hole that you see here on the road, we sent investigator Bill, Bur uh, Bill Spencer to look into this. And Bill joins us live now at the South Fork Business Center, and that's in the industrial area off the 610 loop. Bill? Yes, Danny, this is the hole in question. Started out about two months ago as a large pothole, a very large pothole, but then a construction crew came in here and ripped it all up and made it even worse. It is now an eight foot by eight foot cement trap, and it's dangerous. Do you know who the customer was that you got that uh, order in for today? Uh, Inside her warehouse, Carol Cook, CEO of Industrial Equipment Company, is checking on her inventory. But her biggest concern right now has nothing to do with business. No, Carol's biggest problem is this giant hole in the road inside the Southport Business Center where her company is located. It's been here for more than a month now and at least two different cars have driven right into it. I'm extremely worried about my employees and anyone else that's in this office building. There are literally hundreds of people who work in this industrial complex, and they say what scares them the most is that there are no barriers to keep you from driving in here. Just some crime scene tape, some rebar, some plastic. There are no lights, so you can hit this at night. And it's deep, too. More than a foot deep, at least two different vehicles have crashed right into this hole. There's evidence of one of them tore the bumper right off the top. Several people snapped pictures of this accident, the driver of this vehicle falling right into the hole, and both of the airbags in that vehicle deployed. Ryan Campbell, who works as a safety supervisor at one of the companies here, saw the wreck, is terrified it will happen again and again. This is an extreme safety hazard in my mind. Someone's going to get really hurt, especially at nighttime. You're driving at night, you can't even see it. An unfinished repair job that is now an accident just waiting to happen. The hole isn't on a city street, so the city of Houston is not responsible for it. We at KPRC2 Investigates are trying to find out right now who is responsible so we can push them to fix it right away. I'm glad you're here today because hopefully something will get done. I want to make it very clear that this particular hole, we have been trying all day to find out who owns this part of the property. Now, the Southport Business Center is right there, but this is not part of that business center. I want to make that very clear. As far as the owner of this property, this particular section, we're still trying to find out who it is so we can get this work done. Reporting live, Bill Spencer, KPRC 2 News. Wow.